Hello friends, welcome to the second part of our video on Android P on MIA1. In this video, I'll be covering the rest of the features and I'll be covering the battery life, benchmarking, camera app and how you can install this Android P ROM in your MIA1. So without further wasting more time, let's get started. So before starting, I hope everybody has watched the first part of the video. If you haven't watched it, I will leave a card about this video or I will leave the link in the description. Please watch it before continuing with this video. So coming to the first feature in the list is that is adaptive battery. So with the help of machine learning, your phone will learn how you use your apps over time. So what it does is it keeps on tracking which are the application which you use the most and which are the application you don't use. And based on that, it won't allow the less frequent apps to drain battery over time. So moving to the next feature that is adaptive brightness. According to Google, it will learn all your habits by following how you set your brightness slider in different circumstances. And what it does is, it will try to do the same thing for you. So in that way, your brightness settings are always perfectly optimized for your surroundings and personal preferences. So moving to the next feature, they have completely redesigned the volume controls and now with the help of a single click, you can keep your phone in silent or if you click again, it will go to the outdoor setting with maximum volume. And to access the whole volume control menu, you can just tap on the settings icon. So regarding the performance, I have run the Geekbench benchmark and comparing to the scores we got in Oreo, it is pretty low. But there is no noticeable performance difference, the ROM runs flawlessly. So moving to the most important thing battery backup. So initially when I flashed the ROM the battery backup was really poor. I was getting hardly 4 hours of battery backup. Then after using it for around 2 days the battery backup really improved. Now I am getting around 5 hours 15 minutes to 5 hours 45 minutes screen on time. So moving to the camera, so by default in this room there won't be any camera app, you will have to install any camera app, you can go with the google camera or the normal camera app. With the google camera both the front portrait and the back portrait mode is working completely fine. So many of us were asking if the google assistant was working in this room, it is working perfectly fine and I am able to use google assistant and google lens. So coming to the most important part, how you can install this ROM in MIA1. So what you have to do is just go to Google and search MIA1 Android P and in the first link you will get redirected to XDA site wherein it has given all the steps and all the download links on how to flash this ROM in your MIA1. So anyways, if you don't want to read all these things, they have also provided a link from Gautam Tapas YouTube channel which in which he is explaining all the step by step process on how to install this ROM in MIA1. Anyways, I won't be responsible for anything that happens to your phone. The process is quite lengthy and you will have to follow step by step without making any mistakes. That's it guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, do share it to your friends and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. So until next time, bye bye.